My job here is very simple, just to briefly tell you about Ghana's only bank in the city of London. That's Ghana International Bank, and what we do and what we plan to do in the future. I know a number of you know about Ghana International Bank, but for the benefit of some new investors that we have amongst us, um, I'll just give a little background. The bank was established in 1959 as the London branch of Ghana Commercial Bank, now GCB Bank Limited. About 40 years later, it was hived off as a standalone UK bank, and its main shareholders are the Bank of Ghana, Ghana Commercial Bank, Social Security and National Insurance Trust, the Agriculture, bank of, Agriculture Development Bank, and SIC Insurance. These are some of the core services that the bank provides. So the founders of this bank had a vision that the bank should play a financial intermediary role between Ghana and the developed markets, investors in the UK, EU, US, Asia, etc. Now, in doing this, the bank provides international trade, corporate banking, treasury, correspondent and transaction banking. Now, I wouldn't go through all this, but for the purposes of this forum or conference, I would just dwell on a few. Now, the, the bank supports indigenous institutions and financial institutions in Ghana to confirm letters of credit and other trade instruments issued by these banks. Um, earlier in the discussions, I heard a gentleman talking about um, government guarantees. And it's interesting, most of the time, when investors are thinking of coming into Ghana, that's the first thing they think about. But when they come to us and we have a conversation, we are able to structure things that makes them comfortable to the extent that they don't need this government guarantee and are able to do their business. So there are suppliers in the, in the developed markets that would be happy to deal with Ghana International Bank as an intermediary um, for onward investment into Ghana. In the recent past, we have partnered our shareholders, ADB, um, for the planting and food for food and jobs initiative under this government. We've worked with them to work with some of their partners in Geneva, Luxembourg, and other places. So we are very much involved in the Ghanaian economy. I mean, trade is one of our core businesses, and on an annual basis, the bank, the volume of trade business that goes to the bank is in excess of $3 billion. To facilitate this, the bank has a network of correspondents across the globe, which we've built over time. Now, you see that the role of having a, a bank in the city of London is very important because financial markets are very emotional, and depending on what investors hear, the news, good, bad, it's, it's interesting that sometimes some of the global banks are very quick to pack their suitcases once there is one little news about a country or the region or something. They are very quick to pack their suitcases. But for Ghana International Bank, we cannot pack our suitcases. They call it de-risking. They'll quickly disappear and de-risk, but we cannot de-risk. We, Ghana is our home. We have nowhere else to go. Rain or shine, we will be there to support. If you, if, if you look at trade finance, for example, you find out that most banks in the city would be just doing 
180 days, maximum 90, 180 days LCs. But Ghana International Bank is able to go two, three, four, five years because we understand the market very well. Just to talk a little bit about corporate banking, we also lend to financial institutions in Ghana for on lending because the reason the edge while, while we're set up is that we should support the banks in Ghana, not compete with them. So most of the activities that we do actually complement their activities. We also lend directly to major corporates and prostatals in Ghana. So we, we, we are active in the Ghana Cocoa Board facility. We are active in the Ghana Airports facility. When you go to Terminal 3, please remember that we have played a significant part in getting that up and running. We have done other facilities here which I wouldn't go through. And one area that I'd like to mention which I think would be relevant to this um, forum is we find that some investors are able to come to the table with some export credit agencies. Now these export credit agencies typically will do 85% of the risk. They will just take 85% of the risk. So that leaves the investor with 15% clean risk, which we find that they have to go round and round. But you can come and talk to us. On various occasions, we've managed to help investors take the clean risk 15% because we, 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 are, we are a Ghanaian bank. Now, naturally, as the Ghanaian bank in the city, we are sometimes the first point of call for some investors, and we point them in the right direction and assist in various ways to facilitate investment. Well, I said I will just talk a bit about the, some of the businesses we do. I wouldn't want to go too much in the retail area because retail business is just a very minute part of the bank's operation. I mean, it's 2% of our business. Um, so our business model is mainly corporate and institutional banking. But on the retail side, however, we offer accounts to various Ghanaian associations, clubs, individuals with the objective to invest back at home. On the softer side, Ghana International Bank also offers training on topical issues to banks and corporates in Ghana. I mean, we have an annual trade finance program which we run. Um, recently, we ran a program on um, financial crime risks. And depending on issues that are topical, we are able to bring resources and run programs in Ghana as well. We also have Ghana International Foundation, which is the corporate and social responsibility arm of the bank. A percentage of our profits goes to fund projects in health, education, and poverty alleviation in Ghana. Now, in line with the president's vision of Ghana Beyond Aid, Ghana International Bank is taking a strategic review of its business. And we are currently in discussion with the Ministry of Finance and Ghana Commercial Bank, GCB Bank to facilitate investment for Ghana. Um, Sometime, some couple of months ago, we were part of a team that facilitated the non deal roadshow for the government in the city of London. And we plan to work with our partners in Ghana to develop this capability. We also tend to work, plan to work more hand in glove with other Ghanaian institutions to attract investments to Ghana by providing research and market intelligence to these institutions. On the retail side, we are considering coming up with high yield investment products using FinTech. Um, that 
We provide products that are easily run, they are tax efficient, and provide good investment to people in the diaspora and Ghanaians in general. This bank is very well capitalized. We have a total capital of 130 million sterling. That means that we can, we can have exposures for one single entity for up to $40 million. We are regulated and authorized by the PRE and FCA. Our balance sheet size as of last year was 781 million sterling, which and more importantly, we, you have people in London Bank, Ghanaian Bank in London, that understand Ghana and can point you in the right direction, help you to structure your investments you want to do in Ghana.